How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well recently apple has announced iOS 18 and i was able to install the latest developer beta on my iPhone 15 Pro Max since most of the new features in iOS 18 are copied directly from Android i thought why not go ahead and compare it with one of the most popular android skins which is the One UI 6.1 With that being said, it's going to be a really interesting video, so stay tuned and watch it till the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right guys, first let's talk about the lock screen. With iOS 18, users can change the lock screen shortcuts, which is a feature that we got last year with Android 14. However, it's worth noting that Samsung's One UI had this particular feature for quite some time, and the best part is you can add up to six different shortcuts on your Samsung's lock screen with the help of Good Lock. Now, coming back to the iOS, if I go to lock screen customization, here I can finally decide what shortcuts I can add to my lock screen. So that's it when it comes to the lock screen. We do not have any other new feature, but when I unlock my phone and move to the home screen, here we have some interesting features. Guys, finally iOS users can move the app icons wherever they want. I know if you're an Android user, this might not even sound like a feature to you, but this is what they are calling a brand new feature in iOS 18. Nevertheless, I'm still happy that users will get the freedom to organize the apps and widgets in a way that allows them to enjoy the full view of their phone's wallpaper instead of having it completely covered under the app icons. Now what I like about iOS 18 is that when you activate dark mode even the app icons go completely dark along with the widgets and folders this is something that is missing in Samsung's One UI when I apply dark mode you can see that the widget and the quick settings panel change color but my app icons remain the same you also get the option to hide the app labels which make the app icons look much cleaner than before Not only this, they even copied Android's Material U theming, and there is an option in iOS 18 that allow users to change the app icon color depending on their current wallpaper. Now the only difference is that on One UI, the color palette you choose will be applied throughout the whole UI, including your keyboard, quick settings panel, and stock applications. While the iOS 18 only lets you change the app icon color. Moving to the widgets, you now have the option to resize any widget directly from the home screen and you can also convert widgets into app icons. Again a feature that is already present on Android where you can resize and place widgets wherever you want on your home screen. Now let's talk about this brand new redesigned control center. As you can see when I open the control center, everything looks more rounded. With iOS 18, Apple separated the control center into different pages. Now you can customize and add extra sections for media controls, home devices, and you can add as many pages you want as per your need. Although this looks modern and clean, Android provides all the controls on the same page instead of separating them into multiple sections, which can require extra steps every time you want to access certain controls. Guys, finally you can add new toggles and rearrange them directly from the control center without the need to go to settings every time. Now what I really liked about this new control center is that we can resize and change the shape of these toggles which is definitely not possible on Android. So you can customize and change the entire layout that is really cool and I wish to see something similar in One UI as well. Apart from this there is one more minor change what they have done is they have also added the power button at the top right corner just like Android and if you look at the placement of this button it seems like they have copied it directly from One UI. Next, the iOS 18 allow users to lock applications using Face ID, which is really fast and secure. All you have to do is just long press on the app icon, and here you get this brand new option to lock that specific app using Face ID. Not only this, you can also hide applications, but the worst part is that when you try to hide an app, it creates a hidden folder in the app library, which doesn't make any sense. Now, even though we already have this feature in One UI called Secure Folder, I still prefer the Apple implementation because on iOS 18 you can lock the same app that you are currently using but on Android it creates a separate copy of that specific app before securing it so when it comes to the app lock feature I think Apple did a better job where you can easily lock applications in just a single click next if i go into the settings menu finally we don't have to scroll endlessly on the iphone and what they actually did is they have added a separate app section where you can find all the applications So now the settings menu looks much cleaner on iOS and if i go inside the battery section here we can decide the charging limit you can set charging limit to 80 or 90% or even go all the way up to 100% as per your need 
So these are all the major changes that I've noticed in iOS 18. Although they have copied many customization features from Android, I still believe One UI is way ahead in terms of customizations and features. You know what the best part is, if you want to unlock more features, then you just need to install the GoodLock app on your Samsung device. Now coming back to iOS, Apple has added some nice animations and the UI feels a lot more smoother. I'm actually planning to make a separate video where I'll compare the animations on these devices, so stay tuned for that. With that said, that's pretty much it for today's video. This was a quick comparison between the iOS 18 and the One UI 6.1. Let me know in the comment section which UI do you prefer, whether you are still a fan of Samsung's One UI or you like the newer version of iOS. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.